Hello again, boys and girls. This is Robin the Sudoku Guy with a neat chart that I'm going to show you today. Just pointing out some really interesting patterns that you come across when you're doing Sudoku puzzles. If you look at this puzzle carefully, you'll notice that I have chosen two numbers, a 2 and a 4. 2 is in yellow, 4 is in red. And you'll notice that you will never see two fours or two reds in a row, or you'll never see two reds in a column, and you'll never see two reds in a block. If that is the case, you know you've got to puzzle correct for the fours in any way. Similarly with the twos. You'll never see two twos in a row, two yellows in a row. You'll never see two yellows in a column, and you'll never see two yellows in a block. So if that's the case, your puzzle is looking good. And if you look really closely here, you can pick any number you like, and you'll see that it hasn't been repeated. Just for fun, you could say, uh, oh, let's look at seven, the lucky number. It's top, middle, bottom. Middle, bottom, top. Middle, uh, it's top, bottom. Uh, Bottom, top, middle. Let's look at the this way. Right, left, center, and so on. Try any number. You see how it works. It's amazing. Um, so keep in mind that when you've got a Sudoku puzzle, if this is the case, you know it's right. You don't even have to look at the answer sheet because you've got all the numbers correct. Sometimes when you're doing a puzzle, you suddenly come across a situation where you've got two sixes in a row, or two fours in a column, or two ones in a block. When you come across that, guess what? You've made a mistake somewhere. That's not the end of the world. Try another puzzle. Sometimes it's very hard to find out where you made your mistake, but don't worry about it, okay? So that's it for today's session. I just wanted you to have a look at this. Bye for now.